In this video, I'll show you how you can create these five different text animations in Cavalry, ranging from an easy animation to a more advanced one. Before we begin, let's change the frame rate to 60 and then let's add some text for our first word by word animation. And here you can really just play around with changing the text to whatever you want. And once you're ready, we can move on to the actual animation itself, which is really easy. You just have to select the text and then go up to the right corner and select this arrow. Now, if we hit play on the animation right now, it looks like this which is not really what we want. So we can go into the graph editor and select our animation and then right click on it. And then magic easing, we can set that to any of these we want. For example, a simple slow in, slow out. However, it is a bit too slow. So go into the time editor and drag the last frame over to something like frame 90. And now it's good in speed, but it doesn't look right still. So we can change the level mode to words, which is going to break the animation up to each word or where you have separated it by the space. Now we can also change the drift angle so that it comes from the bottom. And then we can go into the timing and timing mode we can set to normal since we don't want it to go in randomly, but from the left to right. Now, this looks all right, but we can do some things to make it more unique, like changing the drift angle or the diff drift distance, and also things like opacity mode and level mode where you can set it to the whole line or the text characters. And we can also change the timing to be something else than minus 20 to space each word out more. Now, we're actually done with this, but we can make it a little more fast and just adjust it to your liking. And that's the first animation. Moving on to this typewriter effect, we have this simple text here, um, which says typewriter, and then we can add this string manipulator called resize string. And then we can select it. And we can see if we change this percentage, it basically has this write on effect. And we can also change it to fixed length if you want to select how many characters specifically that's going to be shown. I'm going to use percentage for this. So we can select frame zero and then we can add a keyframe and then we can go over to something like frame 90 or 100 in this case. And we can drag the percentage all the way over to 100. And now we have this kind of boring animation but we can actually change it and make it look real by selecting it. And then we could obviously add something like a magic easing of slow in slow out or any of these really, but it doesn't really look realistic. Like someone's typing it to do that. You actually just want to cycle through the animation and sometimes just alter the percentage a bit making it so that sometimes you write slow and sometimes you write fast. And you can even add pauses in between. And then you get a quite convincing effect, which I'm just going to skip the part where I do a lot of adjustments, which you can do by yourself to make it unique. And now we can move on to this transition effect, which is really easy to do, you just have to select the text you want to transition. And then you want to add a string manipulator called transition string. And now by default, it's set to transition to animate. Now, if we try to change the percentage, you can see it slowly animates into the word animate. And this word animate, you can obviously change that to whatever you want. For example, I've set it to is cool. And now transitioning from 0% to 100%, we see this change from one text to another. Now to animate this, it's really simple. We just have to animate this percentage going from 0% to 100%. And like with the last animation, it looks quite boring from the default um, key interpolation. So we can change that by selecting the keyframes and then adding a magic easing of anything you like or changing it to key interpolation Bezier and just changing these handles to something that looks cool, which I've went with this sort of S shape that ends off with a more slow curve. 
Now, once you're happy with your animation, you can play it and you can see that you get this quite cool and simple animation. Now, you can also change it to transition from end to make it go from right to left. And now we can move on to variable fonts, which is quite important that you actually select a font that is variable, which is indicated by these three dots right here, where you can change the weight of the font through this slider instead of having these presets. Now to animate this, we can drag this box out and then we can set a keyframe at frame zero and a weight of 100. And then we can move the playhead to something like 60 and then drag the weight all the way to the right. And now we get this really simple and quite boring animation. But with a few changes, we can make it quite interesting. First of all, to make it easy to change and animate this weight, we can drag it out and then we can right click on it and then we can add a value as a behavior since that can work as a controller for the weight. So now we can just animate this instead of having to select the font each time. So we can do the exact same thing again, um, but instead have it at frame 90 and then we can change the magic easing to something like slow in, slow out. And right now it looks fine, but we can actually try to select the text and then connect the value into the font size. So we both change the font size and the weight. And since it's looking really big, we can add an expression into this font size so that we divide it by five. And now we get this quite interesting animation which we can go ahead and change the key interpolations to make it more fast and rapid paced, even though it still is the same length. And now we can move on to this fall off animation. And to do this, we want to separate each letter in the text so we can actually move them individually. And to do that, we need to select the text and add a deformer called submesh. And then we can select the submesh, which is this copy of the text, but we have separated each letter. And right now changing the position changes all of the letters. And that's because we have to determine which letters to change and that we need to add a fall off. And right now you can see nothing still changes. But going back to the behavior on the sub mesh, we can see that changing the y value, for example, to 50, we now s change the y value of only the letters inside of this circle. So this is quite a powerful tool and we can go ahead and animate this fall off by placing it to the left first, then animating the X value to go from the left to the right. And we can basically just drag it all the way over until it's clear from the text. And then we can add a interpolation. And now we get this simple but quite unique animation. And to make this stand out, we can do a couple of things. First of all, we can try to add some rotation to the sub mesh, but this is only going to rotate it in one way. So we can go ahead and add a behavior called random, and then we can select it and we can go ahead and use the minimum value to set it to minus 15 and the maximum to 15. So now that we have some letters going all the way over to maybe 15 degrees and someone going to minus 15. Now before adding the last detail, which is also my favorite, I want to note that you shouldn't move this fall off around since it's going to auto animate. But to add this color, we can select our text, our original text, and we have this color right here. But we also have this color on the sub mesh, which we can select replace fill. And now this is going to control the fill of the text instead of the original text. And then we can add this fill override called met color material override. And selecting this, we can see that we can now change this value. And why you might ask that we want to do all of this to just change the value of the color. 
And that's because we can add something called a fall off as we did before. And we can just drag the fall off we used before. And then we can now see that the letters inside of the fall off is going to change color to this green. And lastly, if you want to see more videos and support me, you can subscribe. And if you feel generous, you can buy me a coffee. Links in the description. Thank you for watching.